Hello everybody, it is Boffy Rocks, and welcome to part 8 of Resident Evil Zero. We are here, let's go ahead and grab this real quick. I'm gonna give this to Billy, because if I remember correctly, he was kind of, oh, never mind. No, I won't. I need to drop the, <laughs> I need to drop the ink ribbons. It's been a little bit since I've last played this game, due to time constraints in my personal life, so... Hopefully we can remember what to do and we can get this done with today. Not that you guys are all going to see it in one day, of course, but I want to get my end finished today. So we're still here at the train cart. Let's go ahead and give the uh, fucking green herb to Billy. Then we're going to grab the regulator coil and something else from him. I can't remember what exactly they are, but there's two items we need to grab from him that he has currently. Let's go. Let's okay. group up so I can switch some stuff out. Exchange that way, and then we're gonna go ahead and switch to Billy. Use that, and then we're going to exchange. We're gonna hang on to the shotgun shells for just a second longer. But what we're gonna do is we're going to give him the shotgun. So we have these two. We need the magnum ammo from him, just like that. And then I'm going to hang on to the shotgun shells for just a little bit longer, but I will give him the shotgun shells before we get too much further. Oh, nope. Stay where you are, Billy. Roger. Don't be following me now. That serves no benefit at all for anyone involved. Okay, so come right on over here. We're going to use the hookshot, and we're actually going to get rid of the hookshot pretty soon, which is pretty awesome. I like not carrying around things that take up two friggin' slots. <laughs> We've been carrying this thing out around for a very long portion of the game. Since the train, in fact. I mean, we got to ditch it for a little bit, but uh, for the most part, we've had it with us. And it brings me great joy and happiness to know that I will be able to get rid of it. All right. Oh, no, we're going to just use it. Yep, just like that. And then we're going to use the input regulator coil. And that should get us what we need. Should start the train up. But something's going to happen that's going to make it very difficult for us to proceed forward. So. Yeah. Good times. We actually are going to save again. I know that seems ridiculous and like no time at all has passed. But the next time we'll walk past this save location, the game won't allow us to. So there's that. Um, also, what we want to do is we want to grab the bottle here. We're going to make some Molotovs for future use. And by future use, I mean quite a bit future use, but we're going to want them. For some, uh, some plague stingers later on. Mine right there. All right. Good shit. And then, like I said, I know this seems ridiculous and unnecessary because nothing has actually happened. But if you happen to screw up in this upcoming section, you're going to be appreciative of saving it right now. So we'll just go ahead and throw it right here under 7. Give it save data number 9. And I did do a little bit of gameplay ahead of this, so you won't see some uh, achievements pop. I did not save it, however. That's why you're not showing any save game progress. However, I did do a little bit just as a refresher course for myself, because I couldn't remember exactly what was going to happen. And, well, this is more of a walkthrough style gameplay let's play than it is a purely blind let's play. So, all right. Let's go ahead and give Billy the shotgun shells. Just like that. That'll work. Rebecca should have dropped the ink ribbon, but I didn't think that through too well. Oh, well. We'll drop it later. Yeah. That, that'll work. And here we go. Cutscene. So we lost Billy. That's a shitty thing. But something even more shitty is going to happen now. Okay, run immediately to the right. Hopefully I can dodge it. Ah, oh, crap. 
The last time I did it, I was able to dodge that, but I wasn't this time, apparently. That sucks. Just run back here. We need to run back to this little hole location and use the uh, hookshot to get back up. The leeches, like, removed one of the items to start the train, so we have to get back up here to start the train up again. Uh, don't worry if you get hit there. If Unless you're going for a no health, um, no health item run, it's not that big of a deal because as soon as you get to the other end of the train, there's going to be two green herbs that you can use. So I would not stress too much unless you're attempting to do that. If you're attempting to do that, you should probably reload your save. <laughs> All right, so we got the train started. Get that... And see what I'm talking about? I'm going to come over here and try and save it again. The game won't allow me. Try that again later, see? All right, so dump this because there's absolutely no point in carrying that around. Oh, we can actually drop the hookshot at this point, too. We no longer need the hookshot, which is great. All right, and then the ne when you run back past here, you shouldn't have any issues because the, like, monster thing, whatever, will be further along toward the hole location, like, in the floor. And you should be safe to just walk to the train. See? Didn't even see him on screen. You could hear him, but didn't even show up on screen. So it didn't matter at all. And by the way, just so you guys are aware, this video may run a little shorter than normal. Because next video will be a little bit longer than normal. So, grab the Magnum and start the tr get the train going. The cable car. Not the train, sorry. And we will proceed onward. We will regroup with Billy at a later point in time. He's kind of on his own right now. With all of our weapons, too. Except for the Magnum now. He's got the shotgun and the grenade launcher, though. Alright. And immediately went to the left when you get out of here, there will be the two green herbs. So if you need them, use them. If you don't, leave them. It's fine. I am going to use them because I was unable to dodge the leech monster attack, which sucked, by the way. My practice run pre-recording session, I was successful in dodging, but I was not successful in dodging this time. We'll just combine them so that they're a little bit better usage and proceed forward. Can't head left or forward or up or whatever you want to call that direction that door is locked so it doesn't matter just keep going this way and there's not too much be actually actually there's nothing between us between here where we are currently and the next enemy which are going to be two hunters so don't stress too much there's literally nothing to worry about <laughs> But you will want the Magnum equipped. Um, even on hard difficulty, it only takes one Magnum round to kill a hunter. So, you're not going to be using too much ammunition on them. And they will actually show up after we circle around this way. We're going to grab this key that we're going to need to raise, like, a turntable thing. I think It's like a big elevator, basically. Something is being displayed. That doesn't look m m ominous at all, slash menacing. All right, there's a second one. He kind of walks super slow. Just kind of aim this direction. Eventually, he'll make it. You can kind of hear his footsteps, too. See, he walks super slow. All right, boom. Simple enough, right? <laughs> The first one might get the jump on you if you're not ready for it, but the second one is, like, stupid levels of slow. Alright, so now that we got the key, there's this door over here on the left. There's actually going to be a typewriter in there that we're going to use to save. We are also going to grab uh, some handgun ammo. I know that sounds bizarre, but we need to get our handgun back again. And if you don't remember where it is, well, tough. I'm just fucking with you. Unless you d unless you grabbed uh, the one that I told you to ignore, like in the second episode, then you should be fine. It should still be exactly where we left it. 
Come on, let me grab the grenades. Oh, and there's a map over here, too. Let's grab the map before we save. Not that it matters. We can grab the map after we save. Really? Somehow I managed to click the blackboard on both sides of the map without actually grabbing the map. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, there's an ink ribbon on the table. There's an ink ribbon on the table. Ink ribbon on the, on the table, Rebecca. Thank you. You cannot carry this item right now. Crap on a stick. I forgot about that. Um, all right, well, let's just go activate the elevator first, and then we'll save. Because we'll be able to dump the key. Yeah, see, we'll drop the key now, and we'll be able to grab the ink ribbon, save, leave the ink ribbons, and then proceed forward. Okay. Now we should no longer have the key on our person. Go ahead and save this real quick. I'm actually going to save it right up here. Just so I have some of the previous saves in case something happens and I need to re-record something. I'm not going to be completely screwed out of where I am. Because power surges happen. I've had that occur while recording. And it's never a pl pleasant thing for the power to surge. And then you're like, oh, crap. <laughs> I, lo I lost a lot of crap, a lot of progress. We will have a boss fight coming up pretty soon, but the boss fight's really easy. Like, super easy. Especially with the Magnum, so... Shouldn't have to fret about that at all. No fretting about future boss fight. Actually, I'm looking at the clock right now, and we might... This might be about average time. I thought it was going to be a little short on the video, but it might be about average video length yeah well okay then <laughs> sorry I felt like it was gonna be a 15 16 minute video but it might actually be an average length at this point because I'm kind of checking out the time now so we're gonna go say hi to Enrico and get a key as well so head this way no point in checking the door because you can't get in that room anyway the game will not allow it Are you okay, Rebecca? Where is everybody? They should have arrived here before me. Haven't you seen them? That's unfortunate. If we go straight from here, we should arrive at an old mansion which Umbrella uses for research. Come on, let's go. Wait, I've got to find Billy. Billy Cohen? You mean you found that criminal? Yes, but we got separated and... No point worrying about him. He won't make it. Come on, let's go. Sir, please. I need to find him. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you. Rebecca, I... All right. Just be careful. I never saw him again. So dramatic. Not entirely sure as to the purpose of that cutscene, like what benefit it served, but at any rate, make sure you have your magnum uh, reloaded. Because there's a couple... We use those two shots on the hunters, and we're going to want all of our ammo in the gun. And that is a fact. Okay, so come on over here, and when you're ready, go ahead and use the key we just picked up here on the elevator door, and be prepared for a boss fight. It's not a very hard fight, though.
Yeah, just don't waste your time trying to shoot just yet. Kind of get into a position. You want to you wanna get him to where he's about to jump at you and then run from there. Come on, dude. Get your Do your jump animation. That's the animation I was looking for. And just shoot him while he is uh, there. Wait for it. And we'll get another jump animation. Just like that. Yep. Wait for the jump animation, which, there we go. You got plenty of space, and he's dead. Like I said, very easy boss fight. You have plenty of space to dodge the moves, and so, uh, yeah, just be ready to do that. All right, so now that we've got the elevator activated, let's go ahead and get on in there. Now, here's the, the a little bit more difficult. We're going to try and get the handgun back. But this area I've messed up in before. Before now, I've messed up in this area. So don't be surprised if that happens. Um, try not to use handgun ammo to take out the zombies. But if you have to, do it. It's not worth fucking just, you know... It's not worth dying over trying to save a few bullets. But if you guys remember this area, this area, this was where we started the game. And we might get hit on our way back, because it's a little hard to dodge all of them. Nope, okay, we did it. We got the handgun without even getting touched. Good shit. I like that. That doesn't happen every time. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to hit level two and pick up some more uh, magnum bullets and some handgun bullets. And we're good on space. We got magnum bullets right there. Handgun will go right there. We're good on that. Um, yeah, so level two. Level two also has a hunter, so be wary of that. You shouldn't have too many problems, though. My recommendation would be to run out, grab the magnum, and then run back into the elevator. And then go back out and try and grab the handgun and then come back into the elevator. That would probably be the best course of action for this, and that's what I'm gonna do. Grab the magnum ammo. Step back in here. I don't know if this actually benefits you in any way, but I have gotten hit and kind of screwed up by him just trying to do it all at once. So, I don't know if this actually is a benefit or not. <laughs> it might not be. And I might be just doing silly shit. Handgun ammo. There we go. Okay. So, not entirely sure if that provides any real benefit, but it might. Okay. So, now we need to go to level four. And we're going to restore some power. And then after we restore the power, we're going to uh, end the video. <laughs> Playtime is over. You and your friends no longer amuse me. Good riddance. Now nothing will stop me from getting my revenge. Dude's creepy as shit. <laughs> he, he really is, I mean. <laughs> okay, so we made it to level four. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. So yeah, not entirely sure what the benefit of that was, but it was a real short cutscene that served, like, zero purpose. Because we're not going to group up with him for just a minute still. But we're not too far from grouping up with him, truthfully. Alright. Proceed forward. Can't use that elevator just yet. Gotta come in here. Grab these handgun, these ha this handgun ammo. 
I don't recall there being anything else of benefit or use in here. So let's go ahead and restart the power. Okay, so what we want is we want this one right here. And then we'll hit this one right here. Basically, it extends pat two past where you click. So like one, two in any direction. So you'll see right here when I hit it, it'll go up one, up two, and then it will reconnect with everything else. So Ding. super easy puzzle. Nothing really to, to know about it. Then I'm going to, power has been restored. Yes, 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 has. <laughs> I'm going to dump my handgun ammo here. And then we're going to grab that uh, ink ribbon. That is just so generously put right next to the typewriter for us. Save our game. And then I will see you guys in part nine. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and throw a like down below. I appreciate the support. Uh, leave a comment if there's anything else you want to talk about. And yeah, we'll be back in part nine not too long from now. So thanks for watching. Take care.